I'm Emily Rauscher, an Associate Professor of Sociology at Brown University. And I'm going to tell you about a new paper called Why Who Marries Whom Matters. Since the 1960s, when people get married, they've become more likely to marry someone with the same level of education as themselves. So like are marrying like more often in the US um, in terms of education. And this is also the case for parents. When mothers have a baby, they become more likely um, to have the same level of education as the baby's father. Um, and it's become much less common for the mother to have less education than the father. This graph shows changes in the likelihood um, that babies are born to parents with equal education or um, that the mother has less education or more education than the father. And you can see that um, more babies are being born over time to parents who have equal education. Um, many more infants are being born to um, parents where the mother has more education than the father compared to the 1970s. Um, in 2017, it was almost 35% of babies that were born um, to parents where the mother had more education than the father compared to just about 25% in the early 1970s. And in contrast, um, babies born to mothers who have less education than the father have declined the likelihood of being born to parents where the mother has less education than the father has declined substantially over time. So what does this mean for kids? This is a big change in our population. Um, I look at the implications of this change in educational sorting among parents um, for infants. Specifically, I study the effects of having equally educated parents on infant health. Parents might get along better, fight less, and be more likely to stay together if they have equal education. And this can reduce maternal stress during pregnancy, which we know improves infant health. And in fact, the results support this. I find that when parents have equal education, it increases birth weight by a small amount in some analyses and by almost one pound in others. When mothers have less education than the father, it reduces birth weight by a similar amount. Having parents with equal education also increases the number of prenatal medical visits to a doctor by about four visits, and prenatal medical care starts several months earlier in the pregnancy uh, when parents have equal education. And these findings hold when I use techniques to account for differences between mothers in the chances that they partner with a father who has equal um, or unequal education to themselves. This graph shows the effects of having equally educated parents for infants' birth weight, the likelihood of being born low birth weight, number of prenatal medical visits during the pregnancy, and the month of pregnancy when prenatal care started. And you can see that having equally educated parents um, increases the infant health measures on each of these measures. So it increases birth weight, increases the number of prenatal visits, and um, speeds the start of prenatal care. In contrast, having a um, less educated mother than the father um, has worse infant health outcomes on each of these measures. So overall, who has kids with whom matters for infant health? And when parents have equal education, it can improve infant health.